The Tragic Story and Sad Fate of Aaliyah. Last Moment Before Her Ending. On August 25, 2001, American singer Aaliyah died following an airplane accident in the Bahamas. However, new details about the circumstances surrounding her death have emerged. Aaliyah was one of the most beautiful and talented female singers that ever hit the music scene. She was credited for helping to redefine contemporary pop, hip-hop, and R&B music genres. Her musical prowess earned her the nicknames Queen of Urban Pop and Princess of R&B, as she was primed to have a successful and award-winning career. However, those hopes were dashed on August 25, 2001 when Aaliyah died at 22. She was on board a twin-engine Cessna 402 light aircraft traveling from the Bahamas to the U.S. The plane crashed and caught fire shortly after taking off. Aaliyah and eight other persons on board the aircraft died in the crash. Later, details about the plane crash revealed that the aircraft was significantly over its allotted weight by several hundred pounds. It also had one more passenger than it was certified for. The weight in the plane was also improperly distributed, making it difficult to control once airborne. In addition to all of these, it was also discovered that the plane's pilot, Luis Morales III, possessed fake certifications, which he did to get his license. It was also revealed that he had cocaine and alcohol in his system at the time of the plane crash. Meanwhile, New details about Aaliyah's condition before the crash have emerged. Kingsley Russell, a Bahaman man who spent time with Aaliyah hours before she died in the plane accident, has revealed she never wanted to get on the stricken aircraft. He also claimed she was given sleeping pills hours before boarding the plane. Kingsley was just 13 years old when Aaliyah died. His family operated a taxi and hospitality franchise in the Abaco Islands. With his aunt, Annie Russell's influence, Kingsley worked with Aaliyah's entourage as the baggage carrier for her team. Kingsley was with Aaliyah on the night she died as his stepmom drove the deceased Stars team for her return trip to the U.S. He claimed that when Aaliyah saw the plane, she refused to board it and went back to sleep in the taxi his stepmom was driving. Aaliyah passed out in the back of the taxi and her team ultimately carried her onto the plane while she slept. This was despite her initial refusal to board the plane. However, her fears proved to be justified after the plane crashed, leaving all its occupants dead. After remaining silent for 20 years, Kingsley, now 33, is speaking out about what happened hours before the tragic plane crash. He made his revelations in a new book titled Baby Girl, better known as Aaliyah. Written by music journalist Kathy Iandoli. Since Aaliyah's passing, Iandoli has always been curious as to why the singer, known to be a nervous flyer, insisted on boarding an overweight plane despite the chance of boarding a chartered plane the next day. In a reported interview, she recalled being upset because of stories that claimed Aaliyah was adamant about flying that night and wondered why she needed to fly so badly. However, Kingsley's revelations that Aaliyah never wanted to board the plane and was taken into it asleep have given Iandoli and many others like her closure. Iandoli said that despite the closure being unfortunate, she needed to hear that Aaliyah did not want to get on the plane. Iandoli said Aaliyah should still be alive, which is the saddest part about her demise because she deserved better. Kingsley's revelations go a long way in answering many questions that emerged following Aaliyah's passing. But, unfortunately, it also shows how haste and errors led to the death of a superstar. After the crash, Aaliyah's parents, Diane and Michael Houghton sued Blackhawk International Airways Corp. for negligence. The lawsuit was settled, though the details of the settlement remain confidential. 